that China has over 2 million military personnel while the Philippines has over 800,000? Did you know that China has 800 naval vessels while the Philippines has over 800? And did you know that China has a budget of over 200 billion dollars for military reinforcement while the Philippines has just three billion dollars? Honorable members of the Board of Judges, my fellow young speakers, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My question reads, in the recently concluded summit, China and the Philippines signed various agreements among the 29 deals what was highlighted only was the deal on oil and gas development in the West Philippine Sea. In your own opinion, is there really a need for us to demand a disclosure of all the agreements made between China and the Philippines? Why or why not? Support your answer. We are indeed living in challenging times. The problems that confront humanity the nation and the world are aplenty. As the youth of today, how do we believe, how do we keep our sanity intact and our hopes high for a better Philippines? The recent meeting and the recent visit of Chinese President Xi Jinping in the Philippines has paved the way for the, for 20, for the signing of 29 agreements on the West Philippine Sea. One of the important points on this was the joint exploration of China and the Philippines in the contested Scarborough Shoal, Spratly's Islands, and in the West Philippine Sea, or South China Sea, as China may call it. And one of the major points that President Xi Jinping has highlighted is the importance of making the South China Sea not just a sea of dispute and conflict, but rather a sea of peace and friendship. Thus, I believe that what is important at the end of the day is yes, the government must disclose to the public these 29 agreements and at the same time, we should protect our own sovereignty and nation from other people. Because at the end of the day, a David cannot go against a Goliath like China. What is important is we are able to find a common ground. Because I believe that we must learn to appreciate, not abhor, understand, not despise, respect, not reject our own similarities and differences as we, after all, share one Mother Earth and belong to one human race. I thank you. problems in the country should President Duterte focus on at present? Elaborate your answer. Last October, I am humbled to have the opportunity to work in the City Hall for a week as the girl city leader. There, I saw how the government works up close and personal and how many issues are confronting our country today. But this is only in a local scale. How much more in the national level? Thus, given the chance to lead the country, I will focus on three major issues concerning the youth of today. First, mental health. Mental health is one of the biggest problems of the youth at present. Of more than 600,000 who die due to suicide every year, and suicide being the main cause of death among the youth. Thus, the alarming increase of mental health cases has allowed for the public discussion of these. Thus, 
I will address mental health and opening doors for these people to be understood in the community. Second, sex education. Similarly to mental health, there is also an alarming increase of cases of teenage pregnancy and HIV AIDS, the Philippines having the, one of the highest numbers of HIV cases in the world. Thus, sex education should be implemented in the Philippine curriculum at age-appropriate and culture-sensitive sex education. Finally, the youth is through empowering the youth, the youth as modern-day heroes. As Efren Peña Florida, CNN hero said, Our planet is filled with heroes, young and old, rich and poor, man, woman of different shapes, colors, and sizes. We are one great tapestry, each one of us has a hidden hero within. You just have to look inside you and search it in you and be the hero to the next one we need. So to each and every young person, the hero in you is waiting to be unleashed because you are the change that you dream as I am the change that I dream. And collectively, we are the change that this world needs to be. Thank you.